many, how many sons do you have? We have four boys and three girls. How would you feel if one of your sons turned around to you one day and said, Dad, I'm gay? I would embrace them, love them, and try to help them through what I would uh, see as a very difficult and, and, and troubling time in their lives. I, I know uh, a lot of gay people, and uh, I know a lot, of, a lot of the folks that I've talked to uh, who have uh, gone through this go through a lot of very difficult times in their lives and, and coming to that decision and struggling with it even, even after admitting it. So this is, this is a difficult issue, and I understand it's difficult issues, and my job as a father is to love my son unconditionally, which I do and would, and uh, would continue to do what I could to support him so he could uh, live a good and, and uh, healthy and decent and faithful life. Well, I guess one of the reasons why it's so troubling and difficult for people to come out is because of the level of bigotry that's out there against them. Um, and I have to say that you know, your views that you've espoused on this issue are bordering on bigotry, aren't they? Uh, no, I, I think just because we disagree uh, on public policy, which is what the, what the, the debate has been about, which is marriage, uh, doesn't mean that it's bigotry. Just because you follow a, a, uh, a moral code that teaches us something wrong uh, doesn't mean that, are you suggesting that the, that the Bible and that the Catholic Church is, is bigoted? Well, if, if that's what you believe, fine. I, don't, I, I think that uh, 2000, well, I shouldn't say not fine. I don't think it's fine at all. I think, I think that is, uh, uh, that, that's contrary to, to both uh, uh, what we've seen in 2000 years of, of human history and Western civilization and, and trying to redefine something that, that has been, that is seen as wrong. Uh, it, from the standpoint of the church and saying a church is bigoted because it holds that opinion that is biblically based, I think is in itself its act of bigotry. Well, I'm a Catholic too, and I, I just think that unfortunately uh, we're in a different era now. We're in a modern world, and the fact that you now have... I don't think that... Pierce, 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 Pierce I, don't think, I don't think the truth changes. I don't think right and wrong change based on different eras of time. Things are, there's some truths that are in fact eternal and, 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 are, and are truth and based on nature and nature's law. And that's what, uh, that's what uh, the church teaches, that's what the Bible teaches, and that's what reason dictates. And if you look at, all, look at it from all of those perspectives, I think it's a legitimate point of view. I certainly respect people who disagree with it, but I don't call them bigoted because they disagree with me. I mean, you're indisputably... A a good family man, and I've, I've read very moving accounts uh, from you and your wife about the, the loss of your son, uh, Gabriel. Tell me that, coupled with what happened with your uh, newest born daughter, who is very disabled, and you've again spoken very movingly about that, has either of those events, if you're very, very honest, had any impact on your view on the issue of abortion? Because you're very intransigent about it. You don't believe, unlike many Republicans, that there should be any occasions in which abortion is permissible. And yet you've been as a family in two situations where you, I, I would imagine, it has been suggested to you that it was an option on both occasions. It, it was suggested on both occasions. And I, I do make one exception uh, for the life of the mother, but, but other than the life of the mother, where you have two lives and the government shouldn't involve itself in the choice between two lives. But, uh, but other than that, I, I do believe that uh, life begins at conception, and it's not a, I shouldn't say I believe it, it is a biological fact that life begins at conception, that uh, child in the womb is biologically human, completely and fully human, and alive, therefore a human life. And it's reason that tells me that, you know, that person uh, that is now alive and, and, uh, and human should be given the rights of any person under the Constitution where they are, where they're located at that particular time in their life cycle shouldn't determine whether they have constitutional rights or not. So uh, that's something that I came to as uh, really a matter of study more than anything else and have had to experience it with our son Gabriel who we were told had a fatal defect and was going to die um, and we fought for his life in, in the womb and uh, we failed. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the things that that still um, I think about every day, uh, losing him and, and not having him as part of our family. But at the same time, he was a great gift uh, to us. His short life had a huge impact on our family. And through my wife's book, Letters to Gabriel, has had a huge impact on literally thousands and tens of thousands of people all across this country who have who've gone through similar things. And uh, it helped them heal. It's helped save lives of mothers who were counseled for abortion and decided to 
to soldier on and to uh, and and to carry that child to term in some cases to unfortunate ends, but uh, where the child died. But in other cases, you know, miraculous uh, things have happened. So, you know, we feel like in in some small way that our experience is an affirmation of uh, of you know if we just welcome and and accept what God gives us the the the, the gift of a human life, that soul that we you know, join with him in co-creating, that if we just honor that and honor him and, uh, and accept that, that challenge that God gives us, that that's the best way, uh, as painful as it may be, it's the best way to, uh, to walk away whole and, uh, and feel that, uh, that your life and that life uh, meant something and was meaningful for, uh, uh, for the future. You did a controversial thing when Gabriel...